Hello, 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 my Abundance Creators. It's your girl, Empress Cheryl. So this will be a pick a pile reading. Please make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, comment on the video, all that good and beautiful stuff. So this reading is going to be in reference to the new moon that took place on yesterday, the 27th. Um, but the question will be, what changes will you notice in your life because of this new moon energy? So that's what we're doing a reading on. What changes will you notice in your life because of this new moon energy? Okay, so a little different from previous new moon readings that I have done. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, there are three pals. Pal one is this pal here. Pal two is this one in the middle and then pile three is this pile on this side so you can choose your piles based on the numbers one two three you can choose it um based on letters a b c or you can choose it by the um picture that's on the top oracle um that's on the top of each of these piles um all, there are a lot of cards that are already used. So pretty much every pal has the same um, amount of cards. Same cards are in um, each pal. Not the same card, but you know, the same. Every pal has a card from the same deck in it. Um, okay, so pal one, this one here is the, I believe this is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. Uh, pal two are the Moonology Oracle cards, and then pal three are the Tau Oracle cards. So, make your selection. You can make it by color if you want. It's multicolored over here. We got mainly blue over here. We have mainly red over here. However you want to do it, make your selection, and we are going to get into the pals. All right, so pile one, if you chose pile one, you chose this Chakra Wisdom Oracle card at the top, or you chose pile A. Uh, however you chose it, um, you chose it and you're here. So let's get into the question for you. Um, and I want to ask my spirit guides, your spirit guides, and Holy Spirit to come and protect us during this reading and uh, give us some insights in regards to what changes will you notice in your life because of this new moon energy? Power one, what changes will you notice? One thing that I do see is you are. Either you have been in this period of um, like stalemate or you kind of like being by yourself um, and it seems like you're trying to come out of that. Like maybe you were in a period of discovering yourself and discovering who you truly are and it's kind of like now you're coming out of that energy. Now you're more in the energy of um, wanting to, I'm getting like wanting to take action in your life, wanting to put yourself in the driver's seat, wanting to understand like your power and, and, and be a leader, but I'm getting more so in your own life. Um, like those are the, the changes. It's like you're breaking out of a period of stagnancy. It's like you're coming more, um, into balance with yourself and maybe this is because um 
maybe you tried a different approach on how you were doing things. Maybe you started looking at your life as a whole and started making changes like wherever you needed to, to um, make changes at. This Empress card here is, this Empress card is here as well that says you would make a great parent. So maybe you are um, making some changes because you are um, wanting to be a parent or wanting to be a better parent or just wanting to be um, in an a, a abundant energy. Um, you know, it doesn't um, literally have to be in regards to being a parent, but the changes that I see that are being made, is kind of like you're springing into action. It's like you're removing yourself from um, a space of being alienated um, and you're just trying to it's like you're just trying to take the take I'm I'm getting take the bull by the horns and then I'm seeing you know these horns here or whatever but it's like I feel like you're trying to take control of your life so maybe you had you were in a period where you felt like you weren't in control you felt like a lot of things were happening to you and not for you and it's like now you're getting into this energy of you taking control it's like you stepping into your power or you discovering your power or you discovering that you have the ability to make changes in your life so it's like you're just you're stepping more into a leadership role like you're stepping into the driver's seat of your life and trying to balance things out that's that's like the biggest thing that I'm that I'm getting here and it it looks to be beneficial for you very beneficial for you um and you may be you know what what I'm getting with this what I've heard is um like reparenting yourself so maybe you have been through a process of reparenting yourself and or maybe you're you're going to start that process of like really recognizing maybe like recognizing some things about yourself recognizing like what you need to change um or what you need to adjust or what is is no longer um what's no longer serving you but like I'm, I'm really getting more so of like you're taking a stand now like you're really taking a stand you did a it's kind of like you did a self-analysis on yourself and you just kind of realize like this isn't really who I am. This isn't really who I want to be. So let me step forward and be this person who I desire to be. That's that. Those are the changes that I'm getting that you will notice um, because of this new moon energy power one. So that's beautiful. Like much support to you um, along your journey. Keep going, keep pushing and know that you are able to do it. Okay, so that is your message, pile one. All right, pile two. If you chose pile two or pile B or this Moonology deck right here with the blue color, then this will be your reading. So, pile two, we're going to um, ask the question what changes will you notice in your life because of this new moon energy so i'm going to ask my spirit guides your spirit guides and the holy spirit to come and protect us during this reading and give us clear and precise messages Hmm. Pow two. Pow two. Like for some reason, I'm getting more of like an 
like an energy of you noticing your emotions um your emotions changing like with this um there's and, and so maybe your emotion like maybe you are becoming more aware of your emotion emotions or able to like communicate them better with this um third house gemini card like maybe you're getting in touch with your emotions with your with people that are close to you um but i'm i'm definitely getting them improving like your emotional more so like your emotional health improving is what i'm getting here um and then like with this create a sacred space and just take a walk outside like i'm definitely getting that you are it's like you are understanding that you are in charge of your emotions um or that you're you know what i'm saying like it's like you're in a state of where you don't want to feel down if you have been feeling down maybe you've been feeling disconnected or just not like um maybe like not in tune or something like that and it's like you are now it's like now you're starting to emotionally connect again um with with I, i'm getting like with people that are close to you but probably also with um yourself but you're becoming more like emotionally aware and you know it, emotionally healthy is like the biggest thing that i'm getting um here from this you are and maybe you're using it with this i am spiritually wealthy like maybe you are doing this or maybe this is helping you because of your um spiritual practices maybe there are some spiritual practices that you have put in place that are um helping you like maybe you have started like meditating or started to you know like exercise more go outside more get out of the house or something like that but the biggest thing that i'm getting is your emotional health is starting to um either become more balanced or just be more um like your mood is gonna increase you're 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 like i'm i'm just getting the thought if maybe if you've been feeling down or been in some type of down um mood or down energy or down space or whatever like it's going to increase but it's it's like it's in it's increasing it's improving not increase it's improving because of what you're doing like you are taking charge like you like with this woman with her hands thrown up it's like she it's like she's i'm getting like she's like forgetting about all of the worries the worries in the world um and she's like in a space of maybe meditating um like taking some quiet time to herself maybe going on walks this person here like uh, for some reason i'm looking at their hands so maybe they're um doing uh what are those things called like um the hand you know gestures like when you meditate to like balance your chakras and things like that like um is it mudras i don't want to say the wrong thing but i'm i'm like that's what is what that's what i'm being called to are her hands in this picture so it's like or you could just be praying with these like this woman here is closing her eyes praying hands but i'm definitely getting like a spiritual practice it's like your mood is improving because you are maybe increasing your spiritual practices or and and whether that you know is you praying more you meditating more like you walking outside it's like you're experiencing the thought i just got is you you are seeing god in everything or you know what i'm saying you're seeing source in everything you're in flow you're becoming more in tune and in flow and in sync with the universe so it's like things are increasing for you but i'm getting more so the biggest thing is your emotional health is what is improving those are the changes that you will notice um because of this new moon energy okay 
And so you may feel more lucky because of this. Like things may start flowing in to you um, because of this increase in your emotional health. Or maybe you're just able to acknowledge it now um, because you, you know, are looking on the brighter side of things. Okay. So that is the message for you, pal, too. I hope that resonates for you. All right, pal three. If you chose pal three or pal C or the Tao Oracle deck or the deck that was red, <laughs> then we will get into your reading. So I want to ask my spirit guides, your spirit guides, the Holy Spirit to come and protect us during this reading and give us clear and accurate messages on what changes will you notice in your life because of this new moon energy? So, what changes will you notice? Hmm. Okay. Okay, so pal three, what changes you will notice? Let me say this. I um so these are all like beautiful cards, and I'm gonna I'm gonna explain them, but you know the overall energy that I'm getting from this, and I don't have tarot deck, like all of these that all of these decks that I have used are um oracle decks, but the mindset that I am getting from these cards is like you moving into a 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles type of energy. And I say that because we have this... um diffuse negativity restore harmony it's like okay so you're you're in a situation where okay so let me say this there is some type of i'm getting like some type of love um situation that's that's coming about for you and it's probably something that you have been sitting on thinking on like you know meditating trying to see if you really wanted to do this and it's like maybe you are finally releasing your negativity around this situation but we have this soulmate card here um and then we have this fifth house leo um sun card um and you know romance fun play is in here but then we also have salt and pepper sexuality and create a legacy so it's like you are like, I feel like you're like maybe like dissolving some type of um, negative thoughts or feelings or noticing that your negative thoughts and feelings are kind of like dispersing from uh, uh, what you had around some type of soulmate. And so maybe you're deciding that you want to move forward and, um, you know, connect with them, move forward and say like, yes, let's do this. Let's create a legacy. Like with this sexuality here, like you're probably like, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and have sex and have these babies. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's probably something like that, but so more so to where, but the thing is, it's like, you are, you're doing it because now it's like you're feeling aligned with this. The advocate card here, it says, I align with the greater good for all. It's like you're, you're feeling that this is the right thing type of situation. And it's like, maybe you took your time to meditate and contemplate with this weasel card here. It says, be silent, pay attention and simply observe with your eyes, ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. So I feel like you took some time to really like think to yourself and you're like, hmm, this, this person really does make me happy. You know what I'm saying? Like I do feel 
safe here. I do feel loved. I do feel connected. I do enjoy the sex. I do want to create a legacy, you know, with this person. Like, it's like, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting is like, you kind of did like a self-evaluation and you're now, you're like removing your negative thoughts around some type of situation. And you're like, okay, let me just, let me just go with it. Let me just get into alignment is, is, is how it, is this how is the change that it feels like it's coming across for you? It's like you no longer want to fight it. It's like you just want to you just want to kind of go with the flow. Um, here you want to express yourself like you want to be, you know, creative. You want to have romance like you want this to be a fun and easy flowing situation. And so. It's kind of like you're removing your fears. You know what I'm saying? You're 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 lightening up in regards to this situation and you're I just get the thought that you're going for it. So that's that's the changes that are occurring for you. Is it's like you want to you want to be happy. So it's like you're you're tired of blocking yourself. It's like you realize that you may have been blocking your own happiness because of whatever negative um, feelings and thoughts that you had about a situation. So it's like you took some time to really like analyze the situation, sit with yourself, like really see how you feel, really acknowledge, you know, the sex in the matter and the fun that you have with this person and you're like you know what this really is a, a soulmate let's let's go for it and let's do let's do what needs to be done let's create this legacy okay so those are um the changes that you will notice in your life because of this new moon energy so i hope that resonates with you pal three y'all take care be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel comment on the video share the video however you want to do it much love to you and y'all make sure y'all have a jazzy day